This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a square has a perimeter of 48 units. If there are four circles inscribed in the square as shown in the figure below, what is the radius of each circle? So first, you have to know how to find the perimeter of a square. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a calculator or a reference sheet, so you do have to commit these basic formulas to memory at some point. The formula to find the perimeter of a square is P equals 4S, where S refers to the side length of the square. In this case, we know the perimeter of the square is 48. So I can replace P here with 48. This says 48 equals 4S. To get S, the side length of the square by itself, all we're going to do is divide both sides of this equation by 4. This says S equals 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So in other words, I know the side length of this square is 12. And in squares, all the sides are equal. So this side is equal to this side, which is equal to this side, which is equal to this side. And these are all 12. All right, so let's take a closer look at this side, though. We know it's 12. And uh, we know it's this distance from here to here. Well, if I just move this over to the center of these circles, we know that the line I just drew across those circles is 12. And we want to know the radius of each of these circles. Well, what is the radius of a circle? The radius of a circle is defined as the distance from the edge to the center of a circle. So that would be the radius of that circle. Well, if these are our center points, you can see that we have a radius here a radius here, a radius here, and a radius here. In other words, one, two, three, four. Four R equals 12. Clearly, we just want to know what R is. So all we have to do is solve for R by dividing both sides of this equation by four. This says R equals 12 divided by four, which is three. So we know the radius of each of these circles is going to be 3. So this one is going to be A.